All right, y'all. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some divinity using Jello. For this, we're going to need some egg whites, a box of Jello, about a three ounce box, some corn, light corn syrup, and some sugar, and some water. So we're going to start over on the stove. All right, y'all. So over here we have three quarters of a cup of water. We're going to be adding three cups of sugar, and then we're also going to be adding three quarters of a cup of our corn syrup. All right, and now we're just going to go ahead and stir this constantly until it comes up to a to a boil, and then we're going to reduce heat, let it heat up. You don't want it boiling until it becomes a hard ball stage, or temperature wise, 250 degrees. So we'll bring you back when ours is ready. All right, y'all. So now what I forgot to tell you was, once it comes up to the boiling stage and we reduce it to a medium heat, we're only going to stir this occasionally. Now we've put our candy thermometer in it, that'll tell us when it comes up to 250 degrees. That's the most accurate way to know when it's ready to go. So we'll bring you back when ours is ready. All right, y'all, so now we are at 250 degrees, hardball stage. We're gonna cut the heat, set this to the side, and move on to our next step. All right, y'all. So now we're just going to take our eggs, one at a time, because we're going to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. And once we have that, we'll add our white to our big bowl. And then we'll do the second egg. We're doing two eggs. All right, so now we got our egg whites in. We're just going to go ahead, mix this until we get a fluffy consistency. We'll bring you back when that's done. Alright, so now that we have our egg whites to a fluffy consistency, we're just going to go ahead, go ahead and add our three ounces of Jello mix. In this case, we're using strawberry. Now we're going to go ahead and mix our egg whites until we get stiff peaks with the Jello. Alright, y'all, so we're at a stiff peak. You see how that's holding its shape now that nothing's to hold it up? Alright, so now that we got that, we're gonna go ahead and very slowly add our sugar mixture till it's all added in. You just wanna add a little bit in at a time while you mix it, very slowly. That should take you a few minutes and we'll bring you back when that's ready. Good. All right, so now that we got this to all added in, we're gonna go ahead and keep mixing this until it loses its shininess. Once it loses its shininess, then we'll move to our next step. All right, y'all, so now we've mixed our mixture. It's lost its dullness. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, y'all, so now we've lined our counter with wax paper. We have a cookie scoop. We're just gonna go ahead and scoop these out onto our paper. And we'll bring you back once we got all our mixture out and just nice cookie scoop. All right, y'all, so now we have all of our Divinity cookies laid out on our wax paper. We're just gonna go ahead, let them sit until they cool and they'll form up and then, uh. They'll be ready to go after that, but we'll bring you back when ours is ready. All right, y'all. So now our divinity has formed up. It's cool. Now all that's left to do is plate these up, serve them to your friends, your family. Uh, divinity's really big around Christmas time. This is a fun twist on your traditional divinity because it's still divinity, but it's nothing like the traditional. Now all we got left to do, we'll plate these bad boys up. All right, y'all, so now they're plated up, and all we're gonna do, left to eat these things. Now, if you like this video, like recipes like this, go ahead and check out the channel, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Until next time, keep on cooking on.